Hello and welcome to another video from War Secrets. BMP has the honor of being the first infantry combat vehicle. Its development commenced in 1960 and it entered service with the Soviet Army in 1966. The BMP-1 was first shown publicly in 1967 and created quite a stir in the West by its apparent combination of mobility protection and gun missile firepower. History of Manufacturing The requirement for the BMP, which was first drawn up in the late 1950s, stressed speed, good armament, and the ability for all squad members to fire from within the vehicle. The armament had to provide direct support for dismounted infantry in the attack and defense and to be able to destroy comparable light armored vehicles. The vehicle needed to protect the crew from 50 cal machine gun fire and 20 to 23 mm caliber auto cannons across the frontal arc, as well as from light shell fragments at distances between 500 meters and 800 meters. BMP represented an important shift from the concept of an armored personnel carrier to an armored infantry combat vehicle combining high mobility, effective anti-tank weapons, and armored protection for carrying troops. The BMP is significantly smaller than Western APCs and has considerably greater firepower. The BMP-1 was innovative in that it allowed the infantry being carried to fire their personal weapons from within the vehicle while remaining protected by armor. To do this, the firing ports and vision devices were provided for each infantry soldier. The BMP replaced the BTR-50P and complements the BTR-60PB in first-line motorized rifle units. A combination of effective anti-tank firepower, high mobility, and adequate protection made the BMP a formidable addition to the inventory of Soviet motorized rifle units. Designed to suit the demands of high-speed offensive in a nuclear war, it carries a 73mm 2A20 gun with maximum rounds of 40 and a maximum range of over 7,000 feet. Development of the BMP Tank The Red Army mechanized infantry tactics during the 1950s were similar to World War II methods in which APCs were used as battle taxis. They would keep the infantry in close proximity to the battle tanks during movement, but on enemy contact they would unload their infantry before retreating to safer areas. This was in contrast to the German doctrine of infantry fighting vehicles manifested in the Schutzenpanzer Lang HS-30, where the vehicles were supposed to stay with the tanks and engage lighter targets, both to take a burden off of the tanks and to support their infantry squads. Existing APCs offered little or no protection from either nuclear or chemical weapons as they were either open-topped or could not be sealed sufficiently. Furthermore, the infantry had to disembark to be able to use their weapons. Firepower consisted of the innovative combination of the 73mm 2.828 Grom gun and a launcher for the 9M14 Malyeka anti-tank wire-guided missile ATGM. The gun was intended to engage enemy armored vehicles and firing points at a range of up to 700 meters. The missile launcher was intended to be used against targets that were 500 meters to 3,000 meters away. Requirements were issued to the various design bureaus between 1959 and 1960. There was a question as to whether the BMP should be tracked or wheeled, so a number of experimental configurations were explored, including hybrid wheeled track designs. The tracked object 764 was chosen because its front engine design provided a convenient and fast way of mounting and dismounting through two rear doors. The original prototype was built in 1964, followed by the improved Object 765 in 1965, which was accepted by the Army in 1966 under a designation BMP-1. The 120th Guards Rifle Division was the first unit in the Soviet Union to test prototypes of the new BMP Object 765 infantry fighting vehicle in January to November in 1965, under the command of Guards Major Vasily Samodelov, small-scale production then began in 1966. Development of the BMP-1, this infantry fighting vehicle, was produced in large numbers. In its day, the BMP-1 was the vehicle that others were measured by, and the type was churned out in thousands in the former Soviet Union. It was produced until 1988. Over 20,000 of these IFVs were made. Currently, around 1,000 of these IFVs are in service with the Russian military and Ministry of Internal Affairs. Another 7,000 are in storage. The BMP-1 was widely exported to the Soviet allies. It was also produced in China, Czechoslovakia, and Romania. From those four nations sprang a whole host of variants to meet just about every combat requirement. 
from artillery observation to armored engineering vehicle. The IFV has seen combat during many, many wars. The BMP-1 still remain in service in large numbers, and it is estimated that around 7,000 of these armored vehicles are still in service with more than 30 operators, like India and China, apart from Russia. The Shortcoming of BMP Tank With time, it was demonstrated that despite its many innovations, the BMP-1 was not the wonder vehicle it first appeared to be for its low silhouette that had to be paid for by a cramped interior for the occupants and the main armament was not as powerful as was first thought. Also, this vehicle had some other design flaws. This infantry fighting vehicle has a one-man low-profile turret. Armament of the BMP-1 emerged as a magazine-fed low-velocity 73mm smoothbore gun. This gun is non-stabilized, it cannot fire accurately on the move, and it has limited range. Maximum aimed range is 1300 meters. Direct range of fire is only 765 meters. Maximum effective range is around 800 to 1000 meters. This gun fires high explosive and high explosive anti-tank fin stabilized heat FS rounds. The anti-armor round penetrates 335 to 400 millimeters of steel armor. The gun has limited elevation and cannot engage air targets. The gun is fed by a semi-automatic loader. The maximum rate of fire is 8 to 10 rounds per minute. A total of 40 rounds are carried for the main gun. There is also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Initial production vehicles had a barrel-mounted 9M14 Malyetka Western reporting name AT3 Sager wire-guided missile with an indifferent performance. On many later models, the missile was completely removed. In 1979, a variant BMP-1P was produced. It was fitted with a more advanced Faggot or Conker's ATGW launcher. Each infantry fighting vehicle also carried Strela two-man portable launcher with short-range air defense missiles. The BMP-1 has a welded steel armor hull and provides all-around protection against 12.7mm rounds and artillery shell splinters. Front arc of this IFV offers partial protection against 20mm rounds. There is also an automatic fire extinguishing system and NBC protection system. Propulsion this infantry fighting vehicle is powered by a UTD-20 turbocharged diesel engine developing 300 horsepower. Engine is located at the front. The engine and gearbox can be easily replaced in field conditions. This IFV is fully amphibious. On water, it is propelled by its tracks. This infantry fighting vehicle has a crew of three, including the commander, gunner, and driver. The commander is located behind the driver. The vehicle also carries an infantry squad of eight fully equipped troops. It has two rear entry doors, roof hatches, firing ports, and other measures which made the BMP-1 a true infantry fighting vehicle, which not only carries infantry into battle but supports dismounts on the battlefield with its weapons. But the limited internal dimensions of the BMP-1 were always a drawback. Variant History there have been many detailed changes during the BMP-1's production life, and despite production having ceased, new upgraded variants continue to appear. Many of these variants are purely local modifications to meet some local needs. Many vehicles were fitted with extra armor or had more powerful engines installed, while the Chinese produced their Type 86 copy. The BMP-1 proved to be a rugged and serviceable vehicle. Its production ceased in 1983. BMP-1P improved versions produced between 1979 and 1983. This late production model was fitted with a more capable Conker's AT-5 Spandrel anti-tank missile launcher instead of the previous Malyutka. The Conker's have a range of 4 kilometers. Initially, it was available with a heat warhead that could penetrate 600 to 670 millimeters of steel armor. Later, Soviets adopted a Conker's M with a tandem heat warhead that could penetrate around 750 to 800 millimeters of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor. Rate of fire is 1 to 3 missiles per minute, depending on the range. BMP-2 is a further development of the BMP-1. It appeared in the late 1970s and had some of the drawbacks eliminated. The most obvious improvement being the replacement of the BMP-1's non-stabilized 73mm low-velocity gun by a more versatile and effective fully stabilized dual-fed 30mm cannon. This cannon fires HEFRAG, HE and armor-piercing rounds. It can engage armored targets at a range of 1500 meters, ground targets at a range of 4000 meters, and helicopters at a range of up to 2,500 meters. It was fitted with an updated UTD-20S1 engine developing 300 horsepower. This armored vehicle was adopted by the Soviet Army in 1980. 
as well as the original BMP-1, it was also produced in large numbers. But most importantly, the BMP tanks are in use even today by many countries. And that concludes today's video. We hope that you enjoyed it. If that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more great material in the future. I'll see you later. Goodbye.